What are those shining points of light in the night sky? They are stars. A star is a massive luminous sphere of plasma, which is held together by its own gravity. Gravity is one of two forces acting on a star. It is the inward force trying to crush the star. Heat and pressure rise at the star's center until the temperature reaches 16 million degrees. At this point, thermonuclear fusion begins, and hydrogen is then fused into helium. This creates the second force acting on a star, thermal pressure. Thermal pressure is an outward force from the expanding gases. When the inward pressure of gravitational collapse is equal to the outward thermal pressure generated from the hot core, the star has a balance of forces. This state is called hydrostatic equilibrium. As long as a star has hydrogen fuel to burn, the star can exist in this state for millions, if not trillions, of years. When a star is born, it is composed of about 71% hydrogen and 27% helium, with trace amounts of other elements like carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. Every time hydrogen nuclei fuse into helium nuclei, a photon of light is released. This is why the stars shine. The mass of a star determines everything about a star, how hot it will burn, how long it will live, and how it will die. Stars are categorized by how bright they are, called luminosity, and their color, which reflects their temperature. There are seven spectral classes of stars, O, B, A, F, G, K, and M. O-class stars are extremely hot and bright, while M-class stars are cool and dim. Each stellar class is then subdivided by a number from 0 to 9 where G0 is hotter than G3, and G3 is hotter than G7. The Roman numeral identifies what phase in the life cycle the star is in. Roman numeral 1 identifies supergiant stars. Numeral 2 identifies bright giant stars. Numeral 3 identifies giant stars. These stars are near the end of their lives. They have burned through all their hydrogen and were massive enough to burn helium into heavier elements. Numeral four identifies the subgiants. These stars have burned through all their hydrogen and have started to burn helium. They are developing into the giant stage. The main sequence stars are identified by the numeral five. Stars spend most of their lives here, quietly burning hydrogen into helium. Our sun is in this stage. Stars that are on the main sequence are called dwarfs. The next group are the sub-dwarf stars. They are stars that are burning hydrogen, but are not as bright as they should be for their size. The last luminosity class is the white dwarfs. These are the stellar corpses of large stars. 
Stars are the universe's light source. Without stars, there would be only darkness. <laughs>